Hello, I'm Changyang Kim, and I'm glad to share our work, Metaphorian, leveraging large language models to support extended metaphor creation for science writing. The successful completion of this work was made possible thanks to the amazing teamwork of Sangho, Lydia, and Haijun. Science writers communicate science knowledge to the general public. To this end, they extensively use scientific metaphors to make complex scientific concepts more accessible and relatable, mostly in the form of extended metaphors. In this example of the extended metaphor below, the cell is like a city, the nucleus is like a city center where important decisions are made, and the mitochondria are the power plants that provide energy for the cell. Creating these types of extended metaphors involves a complicated cognitive process. First, just like other creative writing tasks, writers need to find a novel and at the same time, a familiar concept. And the structure of the scientific concept and its sub-concepts should be congruent to the one of multiple metaphorical concepts. Currently, science writers depend on search engines for inspiration, but this approach lacks support for constructing coherent connections between sub-metaphors. Additionally, the existing literature system only assists in creating a single metaphor, leaving users to put considerable effort into building an extended metaphor with a congruent structure without any assistance. So our research focused on facilitating the creation of extended metaphors in the real-world scenarios while ensuring the congruent structure. To further explore this problem, we conducted a formative study with six professional science writers through this study, we aim to understand the workflow, challenges, and support needed to write scientific metaphors. The participants had a mean of 13 years of ex expertise in disseminating science knowledge to the general public through newsletters, online blogs, and magazines. As a result, with regard to the usage and workflow of scientific metaphors, the participants reported using metaphors to make scientific concepts accessible, engaging, and memorable. In terms of the format of the metaphors, all the participants employed extended metaphors that spanned multiple sentences or paragraphs, linking multiple concepts in a coherent narrative. The creation of metaphors involved divergent and convergent thinking, breaking down the main concepts into subtenors and brainstorming vehicles that shared properties with the tenors. Challenges included a lack of ideas and inspiration, the tension between understandability and scientific precision, and ensuring coherence in extended metaphors. Participants' desired support for metaphor creation included semantic search, auto-completion of metaphors, and a search engine specifically for metaphors, with filters for theme, distance, difficulty, property, and originality. Based on the findings of the formative study, several design goals have been identified to guide the development of a writing support tool specifically tailored for scientific metaphors. Meanwhile, to build a metaphor creation support tool, we used a large language model, GPT-3 DaVinci 2 model. Since it has been trained on terabytes of text and has the potential to offer a rich pool of metaphor ideas, and develop the underlying links among sub-metaphors. However, its capability to generate extended metaphors in the science domain is not yet fully explored by the existing work. Accordingly, we first conducted a, an exploratory study of the large language model. In this study, we tested if the current large language model is capable of creating extended metaphors. The study involved six science writers, with an average of five years of experience in publishing scientific articles. The writers aimed to measure the quality of extended metaphor generated by the GPT-3 large language model by comparing them with human-made metaphors. Both the human-made and large language model generated metaphors were evaluated by the same group of professional writers except their own writings. Based on such the criteria such as originality, metaphoricity, relevance, coherence, willingness to adopt, and inspirational effect. The results indicated that the large language model fell short in terms of willingness to use and inspirational effect compared to the human-made metaphors. Human-made metaphors were found to be more original, metaphorical, and relevant to the main vehicle. However, there were no significant differences in fluency and scientific precision between the two types of metaphors. We identified five types of writers' requirements that were not met by the large language model. 
Furthermore, we open source the dataset developed from this study, which contains 600 extended metaphors that amount to a total of 20, 40 to 55 single metaphors with ratings. So we improved the large language model by a few shot learning and prompt augmentation strategy using the heuristic rules revealed from the formative study. In detail, we designed the change prompt for extended metaphor creation, which is defined as the process of breaking up complex tasks into manageable steps. For example, in case a user is looking for a metaphor around the scientific concept, cell, in biology, our system first generates the main metaphor, city, so the cell is like a city. After that, a user can further input the sub-scientific concepts such as nucleus, membrane, uh, then the prompt chaining process involved incorporating all the previously generated results to take into account the context. Finally, all the corresponding submetaphors are generated cons considering the previously generated con context. The prompt chaining process also supports the iterative process of metaphor creation. For instance, if a user wants to browse alternative submetaphors for the nucleus, just a part of the extended metaphor, then all the generation history is fed into the prompt to generate a contextual alternative for the subconcept. On the other hand, the other prompt augmentation strategy we used is concatenating the writer's requirements in metaphor creation in the prompts. By adding set of heuristic rules to the prompt, we sought to guide the large language model to generate metaphors that meet these requirements. As shown in, the, in this table, these rules in the format of natural language text were appended to the prompts. As a result, a technical evaluation showed that our enhanced prompt design improved the originality, scientific precision, and relatedness of metaphors compared to vanilla prompt design. Based on the findings from the formative study and the large language model exploratory study, we introduced Metaphorian, an interactive system that enables writers to search, extend, and iteratively revise metaphors. So this is how Metaphorian works. The system supports visual and semantic search by allowing writers to search for metaphors. For example, users can input the scientific concept, the cell in biology, then Metaphorian displays the metaphor ideas for the cell in this representation, and the ideas are grouped based on the themes. For example, this group is, uh, has the theme of network, city, and community. If they click the understandability filter, then the metaphor ideas are color-coded by difficulty levels of three stages, blue for basic level, white for intermediate, and red for advanced level words. If they click the originality filter, then it works in the same way. Um, users can also input a scientific property of the scientific concept. For example, the input can be that the cell is like a basic unit of living things, then the ideas are regenerated focusing on the input property. After the initial exploration, users can further expand the metaphors by adding sub-metaphors, resolving the congruent structure. For example, after choosing city and family for a cell, uh, the sub-concepts can be the nucleus, then it generates corresponding sub-metaphors like factory and the brain. And they can further expand the metaphors by adding another sub-concept like membrane. Then users can also iteratively revise the metaphors by further exploring the sub-metaphors if they do not like the factory metaphor in this example. Then they can further explore the alternative ideas like office and store. So they can replace the factory with the office iteratively revising the metaphors. To test whether Metaphorian successfully supports science writers in creating extended metaphors, we conducted a user study with professional science writers. 16 science writers were re recruited and all had published scientific articles for the general public in newspapers, magazines, and online blogs. They had an average 8 years of experience as science writers. They were given two writing tasks, writing a short paragraph explaining the given scientific concept to the general public. and writing a short paragraph explaining a topic of their choosing to the general public. The given topic was either cell or DNA with associated subconcepts, and the study then concluded with a survey and follow-up interviews. It was designed as a control study with a within-subject design where each participant compared the system to a baseline interface with the Google search UI. 
In the study, we sought to answer the following questions. The user study results indicated that Metaphorian enabled participants to write significantly more understandable metaphors with greater confidence while providing an inspirational and immersive writing experience. Those are the comments from the participants. Metaphorian gave them ideas they have never thought of and allowed a step-by-step -step metaphor creation like a logical map. Based on these findings, we discussed the design implications for building a creativity support tool by leveraging the large language models with human AI co-creation. Our large language model-based pipeline utilizes pump chaining and requirement concatenation techniques to enhance extended metaphor generation. Prompt training breaks down the process into manageable steps, improving output and reducing latency. Requirements in the prompt act as guardrails to ensure accurate and constrained metaphors. This approach has broader applications beyond science writing, uh, such as poetry, novel, and allegory. Prompt training is recommended for real-time applications due to its time efficiency. The study predates advanced large language models like GPT-4, but the human-in-the-loop exploration approach remains valuable. Exploring the performance of more recent large language models could be an intriguing avenue for future research. Meanwhile, Metaphorian system prevents homogeneity in machine-generated content and offers diverse options. Users reported a sense of agency and ownership in co-creating with AI with some concerns about plagiarism. Future research can address plagiarism prevention and consider diverse cognitive models of writers. Thank you for your time and I'm happy to take any questions.